I'm Roxanne Carter and this is block 10 of our 2019 technique sampler. So our block is the kite shape block, which is this one here. And in my quilt, it's number 10 block. And so it is made using uh, the kite templates from block lock or without. So I have them here that we'll do to be showing you how to do. So here's my pattern, and for the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to do our four patch. The four patch uses both the accent five and six from our sample from our supply list, and this is accent six or five here, and this is five, uh, six. And so these are just strip sets that are sewn together. I've already cut some of the patches off, but you just sew them together, pressing to the dark, and in both their accent in both cases cross cut each one into the two and a half inch segments that we show here. So it's using two and a half inch strips of the background. You will have to cut the background strip in half so you have two pieces that uh, are 21 inches to go with your strips. Once we make, we take the segments, we sew them together, lining them up, sewing our quarter inch seam and pressing to one side. So these are our nine, four patches that go in the corners of the block. After we make our nine, four, excuse me, our four patches, we are going to go to our kite shapes. And so in the directions it says if you do not have the kite shape ruler set, which is this set right here, then you will need to take template plastic and make the kite shape. So this is our shape right here. And the easiest thing to do is to take a glue stick on the wrong side of the paper, put the glue stick over just the kite, put it down on your template plastic, and then cut it out so you have it marked. All right, so now we're gonna take our background pieces, which we're talking about right here, and these are the three and three quarter by five and a quarter, and we measure in a half an inch here and a half an inch there. So what I did is I put my ruler down, a half inch there, put a little pencil mark, did the same thing on this end. And now I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to cut right between them. But the important thing is that these pieces are wrong side together so that you get the mirror images of the pieces. So now I will cut these apart like that. If you have the block lock template set, then we take and can use whoop, there, there, this guy right here. So this guy, oh, here they are, right here. So these guys here, whoops, two, one pair. So this can just lay right on here. It's a little bit smaller, but it's just as simple to do. And it also has a little notch at the bottom that you can trim off. And then you can notch this little guy right here at the bottom. And then just turn this around and do the same thing on the other half. So, so there's a little bit of waste in this one, but it's not much. So then when we have our pieces, I'll set these aside. I'm gonna show you the way that we would do it without the block lock first. We take the, well, first of all, I gotta show you how to cut the kites out. So, our kites are made using either the block lock kite ruler or the one that I just made. There it is right there. See, that's why the paper on it makes it easier to find. So if we take and lay this right here, we've laying the, out the um, edge of the template to the edge of our fabric. And then we can see that it's just going to sew or cut really easily. You can use your template plastic as an edge to move this around. And then I will just trim the other two sides. So cut here and cut there. And if you have the block lock, it's the same thing. It's just, we're gonna lay our piece right out there and you're gonna be able to get all four out of this. I've kept the strip wrong side together. On the paperwork that I have here, I've got it all singular. 
So it's just, you get two cuts with each. They are the same, so you can cut them together. And so I'll just use the template plastic to go right, or the block lock ruler makes it really easy because it's nice and thick. So this will give us our kites that we need for our blocks. Okay, so we're gonna start with this guy right here, and so I'm gonna show you the ones that don't have the notched off edge. So I'm showing you that we're gonna lay these on there three eighths of an inch over, and it's just, you can kinda of eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect. These are oversized, so you have plenty of room. But there's about three eighths of an inch right there overhang from the ruler. So we're gonna line up the biasy edges. They're both the cut edges, so that when we lay these out, that's gonna create a straighter line there. So we're going to put that overlapping. So we go through with a quarter inch seam allowance there. And I will sew this for you. Get my edges lined up. Now we're going to press to the background piece. Like that, oops. And now we're gonna add the other one on the other side. And so this one is the mirror image piece of that. So it's gonna go again right there and we're going to sew there. So when we get through with that, Okay, so we trimmed these blocks out, the kite shaped blocks. This is the kite shaped ruler from Block Lock, and it has these grooves on the back that fit right into those seams that are pressed out. And so it really is nice because it is just a locking right onto there. And if I have my little mat here, it makes it really easy because I can just turn my mat around. So. That list locks right onto there, and then we can just trim one, two, and three, and four. So it makes a very nice, clean shape. There's lots of different patterns that you can use this ruler set for, but in this block, it really makes it nice. Another way of doing that, we don't need to have the block lock set. If you have just a regular four and a half inch square. You can take the four and a half inch square and you place the quarter inch junction right at the tip, that tip right there. You place the quarter inch this way and this way. So lay that right there. Try and center that center line so that it goes through the point of our fabric. And all of this is on the second page of our ruler right here, or our pattern. So then we take and we just cut again, like we've done before. It's just that this one is not locking into the seam, so you have to be careful that you don't slip the ruler. Keep that ruler nice and straight, and then trim the other two sides. So there are our little block lock pieces. So now we can assemble our block unit. There are four of these corners, two of each of the colors. So we have a same two, this is our accent four with our little not four patches. And you're just going to sew these and these together and then sew the pair together, just like the picture shows. Assembling the block is just four of them and then putting your outside main print frames on. I hope you have fun with this block. It's a lot of fun to make these and there's lots of patterns that use this template. Thank you.